ladies and gentlemen welcome back into another video today's topic is going to be finally solo leveling arise i have been waiting for this game and i know a ton of you guys have been waiting for this game as well for a very long time we have a more precise uh time period when it's going to be coming out so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the gameplay and everything like that I'm going to give some commentary on some characters, um, ideas for the game and stuff that I'm thinking about and what I'm hoping that it comes forward to. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So as we can see on the Netmarble webpage, it does have a coming spring 2024, which means that it should be around March, April time if we're going by um, kind of like when our spring is in US or when their spring is in Korea. They're right around the same time, uh, so we should be looking forward to this, like I said, by the end of March. Uh, all of the news and everything like that that has come out has been basically the stuff that we got from last year. Some character highlights that have come out as well for new characters that have been added to the game. We have the uh, dossiers, which is some of the characters, Sung Jin Woo, um, Baek Yoon Ho, and a bunch of others on the list that i am more than excited man i'm so excited to play with this character he's such a dope ass freaking uh mage inside of the game or hunter inside of the uh not the game the uh, anime or manhwa sorry the anime just started as well if y'all haven't checked out that first episode i man the animation looks great and everything and they added a lot more uh in the earlier half of that episode than what we got in the manhwa so Pacing might be a little bit different, but that's good because it's not too long of a series in regards to chapters. Um, so I'm glad that they're adding more depth to it and kind of give us more character building and world building uh, right off the bat. So like I said, tons of characters that we're getting on launch. Now how the game is going to give us the characters or how we summon or pull or you know get new characters on our team i'm not too sure yet i haven't really seen anything from the stuff that they've released um so that'll be interesting to see when it comes to the twitter page the last thing that we got right now is this one right here i advise everyone who's interested in playing this game please go check this out um follow our solo arise official page so go here and in the celebration for the anime coming out on the 8th or the 7th i'm sorry the event period is from January 8th to January 26th. Uh, they will be giving an in-game secret coupon. 20 people will be receiving this. How to participate in this? Easy. Just follow their page, uh, retweet the event. So hit this button right here, like the page, and then leave a celebratory comment on with all of these tags right here. So copy and paste these tags. Go to your comment section and go ahead and leave those tags as well on there so that way you can be entered into the game and it basically is free marketing for the company to get the word out as soon as possible right now with us retweeting and all this stuff so go ahead and give them a like follow their page if you're interested in this game i'm going to go ahead and pull up some of the uh, content that we have in the game and we'll go ahead and take a look at that while I'm kind of talking about uh, what's going on in the game and everything. Amazing graphics, by the way. The graphics on this look really good. They did a uh, focus test back then in 2023, and it kind of got a bunch of people together that were doing like a, I guess a closed alpha test. The closed alpha test allowed them to kind of check out the fluidity and stuff of the gameplay. As you can see, it, it is going to be like an action um, combat RPG. What's cool, what this reminded me of, now I haven't seen like the lobby or kind of the menu or anything like that, how we maneuver around the game itself, besides like the gameplay. Um, but if I'm thinking like other action RPGs and stuff like that, it's possible that this is going to be something similar to like a Fantasy Star or like a Monster Hunter game. Uh, obviously on a smaller scale because it is going to be glo uh, mobile, but um, it, it's interesting. You see on the right side uh, of the screen, you can see like the multiple characters and stuff like that that you can bring into battle with you. So I'm assuming that you're going to be able to switch in and out kind of like a Genshin Impact like we saw right there. Uh, I'll be curious to see if there's like actual combos between the characters like utilizing a certain team 
like one giving buffs and everything like that the depth of kind of what genshin has given us in the past and other uh like weathering waves coming um tower of god or tower of fantasy uh things like that that's what it looks like action rpg and everything with these two is uh with the main character sung jin woo he does have that uh arise ability where he can bring out those minions i'm curious to see if those are also playable characters that you can have as well or if they're going to be more or less like an ability that he just has by himself uh as for this this is one of the cutscenes, uh, which is freaking dope and a boss fight whenever you're fighting against igris uh one of his well one of the summons that he gets in the uh series itself of the manhua is a very dope loyal knight that he gets <laughs> honestly the uh development of character with him and um his minions is is pretty freaking cool to follow along but um yeah i'm pretty excited to see this it it would be interesting if we got some kind of like co-op attribute to this like if we could each bring a character into like a dungeon and um you know have like three or four people playing at once i see here in a lot of the uh, if you go look at a lot of the videos that they've showed for like some of the solo gameplay like this it doesn't have those multiple characters and everything on the side um where it looks like you're able to switch between them it just has him by himself now this might just be like in retrospect to the campaign whereas there's like certain events and dungeons and stuff like that that allow us to bring those other companions i'd be interested to see um hopefully we know before if not then you know what it's cool to go into games blind nowadays a lot of people just have too much content out or betas and alphas and everything like that especially for mobile games uh, and rpgs in general to where we kind of get spoiled on how the game is I'd, I'd like to go into this blind um from what i've seen uh there is 15 characters i believe that i saw or 17 i could be mistaken but i'd be interested to see um when the game comes out how many characters we'll actually get here i put a couple of these uh character spotlights and stuff in here just to go ahead and take a look at them but Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, if y'all are interested for this game as well, freaking hit a comment down below. Let me know so that way I can know that uh, what to cover on this, what you guys are looking forward to. Any characters from the manhwa that have not been portrayed yet in the game, please let me know who you're looking for and excited for. What kind of weapons you'll be interested in using because there is uh, like bow and arrow, sword types, magic types, staff types, stuff like that. But uh, anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. We are getting this in the next couple of months, so stay tuned. I will be covering this content on this channel, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time, and I will see you guys in the next video.